The car uses a, a range of cameras and sensors and uh, radars to create a, a real world, real time picture of what it's actually doing and where it is. And because of the ability for the car to know where it is and what it's doing, it can help you in a number of different ways. Radars in the back of the car have the ability to determine if somebody's in your blind spot. Yeah. And if somebody is in your blind spot, we'll get an indicator on the side mirror. That'll tell us that somebody's in the blind spot. And if we try and change lanes while someone's there, the car will beep to tell us not to do that. There's these new radar-based and camera-based technologies that, that are available and are affordable. And you know, right now people can make a choice to have a safer vehicle. We all know that the driving's essentially the most dangerous thing you'll ever do, and you get to do it every day. The car in front's gonna perform a relatively firm stop, yep. and uh, our car will actually beep, and apply the brakes, and pull the seatbelt so tight the same for time us. the seatbelt pulls in, pulls your chest in. So I didn't do anything then. So what's that called when it does that? Collision Prevention Assist, yep. CPA. People are saying there's so much technology in cars, it's distracting, but now, some of the technology is identifying that distraction and pulling you back in line to drive. The car knows what you're doing inside, where your acceleration is, where your braking is, it knows how fast you're going, it knows where the roads are going, yeah. and it's looking further ahead. So using the car to help you stay alive is really, really the key. So what would your message be to the common punter out there, you know, those that are looking to buy a car? Go to technology. Absolutely the, the most important thing for me is to ensure that the car has ABS brakes and ESP. They're, they're absolutely essential. In, in the modern automobile, uh, second hand or new, you know, you, you just have to have these systems. Your contact point with the road is four physical hand patches, yeah. you know, there's, there's not a lot there and if one of those patches touches some grass or touches some gravel or touches some sand, the ability for the car to become unstable is very, very high and if you're a little bit distracted, you know, that, that ends in tragedy. And it's not that expensive now. No, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. So you're a professional um, race car driver? Um, and people go, you know, must be a lunatic out there doing those sorts of speeds. But safety is first and foremost, yeah? You know, on a racetrack, everybody's travelling in the same direction, yep. usually. On the roads, there are so many variables. You don't know when the car in front's going to brake for a pedestrian. Yeah. Whether maybe there's a, a failure of some description, whether, you know, you just don't know what's going to happen. You know what? Uh, humans will always make mistakes, and for me, it's, it's going to be through technology that we uh, start really getting that lives lost down to zero. So that's the target for a Mercedes-Benz as well. It is, great. Thanks for the time.